traditional method of animal classification. Traditionally, animals were classified depending upon the presence or absence of a notochord, that is, a long rod-like supporting structure present on the dorsal side of animal body, which keeps the nerve tissue isolated from remaining body. Based on this criteria used for classification, the animal kingdom was divided into two groups, non-chordates and chordates. Let us discuss about each of them in brief. Non-chordates Non-chordate animals share some common characters. Some common characters of non-chordates are The body of non-chordates is not supported by a rod-like notochord. Pharyngeal gill slits are absent in these animals. Nerve cord, if present, is on the ventral side. It is solid and paired. Heart, if present, is on the dorsal side. Non-chordates are divided or classified into ten phyla. They are Protozoa, Porifera, Silenterata, Onidaria, Platyhelminthus, Aschelminthus, Anilida, Arthropoda, Mollusca, Echinodermata, and Hamicordata. Chordates Like the non-chordates, chordates also share some common characters. Some of them are Body is supported by notochord. Pharyngeal gill slits or lungs are present for respiration. Nerve cord is present on the dorsal side. It is hollow. Heart is present on the ventral side of the body. All chordate animals are grouped together in one phylum and the phylum is also named as chordata. This phylum is divided into three subphyla. Eurochordata, Cephalochordata, and Vertebrata. The subphylum Vertebrata is further divided into six classes. Class Cyclostomata, Class Pisces, Class Amphibia, Class Reptilia Class Aves and Class Mammalia. However, nowadays a new system of classification is used. This system of classification is based upon some criteria like body organization, body symmetry, body cavity, germinal layers, and segmentation. Come, let us study about each of these criteria one by one.